Welcome back guys, thank you very much for joining me. Today it's going to be a real simple video, an ideal HE strip down. Now this is for training purposes only, there is no gas test involved, so if you don't have the relevant qualifications please do not attempt this. So we've removed the sump cover and now we've removed the flue manifold as you can see it just pops out, it's quite easy to do. Next we're going to remove the gas uh, injector pipe that is attached to the fan. Um, these are a bit of a pig to get out sometimes, but they do come away. Just a flattered screwdriver on the on the nut in the back corner. Loosen it off. You don't have to take it all the way out. Just slack enough off so you can pull it. Next, we remove the electrical connections and it just clips off two ridges at the top. Make sure you strip these down, guys, because people do not strip these down. Now, clean that up. Just a cleaning strip. Make sure the washes are okay. Make sure you do lube them back up. So these need a good clean, okay? This wasn't, wasn't too bad. Make sure that it's quite clear to see through. You don't want any obstructions or anything blocking it. Stick your finger in the hole, as you do. And the burner here, you need to make sure that there's a 5 mil play on this, okay? Any more than that, I'm afraid it needs replacing. But this one's okay. So now we're going to continue to remove the burner. Now, all my tools that I am using, are I will put a link to those so you can check them out. There's just four, well, bolts, nuts and bolts, two at the front and two at the back. They're awkward to get to, but with my kit, it's quite straightforward. So next, we remove the burner very carefully. Remove this burner. We take a look over it, make sure there's no cracks, no abrasions. Inside, the heat exchanger needs a good clean. Once you've cleaned it, flushed it through with water, get it a good test, we can then start to put it back together. Now again, be very careful when you're putting this burner back in because we don't want to damage it because they cost a fortune. Next, refix it down, just in reverse order. In reverse order, exactly the same as we did before, making sure that we do them nice and tight, but not too tight. Now there are two notches here that sit on those ridges. Make sure they go on. How many, how many have I come to that are not quite sat right? Make sure that they're sat flush, okay? Then tighten it up with a flathead screwdriver and then move down to the gas line as well and connect that back up. So once we've got that all done, we can then move on to testing the boiler. Putting the, uh, the lines back in, electrical connections, took them out of the way. And obviously the flue manifold back together. So... I do hope this video has helped you out, guys, or just give you a quick insight of how to quickly strip one down. Thank you very much for watching, guys. See you on the next video.